Good day internet. So today I will show you how to adjust your front brake lever and clutch lever up and down or forward and backward in order to get the correct angle for your riding position on your BMW R 1150GS. Alright, so what would be the reason for me to want to adjust the clutch lever and the or the front brake lever and the clutch lever on the other side to a different height or a different angle? Now, in reality, when you sit on a motorcycle on a bike like this and you straighten your arms, you would want the lever to be level in a straight line with your arms. That would be the ideal angle. So mine is a bit low on the moment at the moment, so it's a bit harder to reach down at the bottom, only with the tip of my finger like so. So ideally I would like it a bit more upward or more, more to the top so I could easily grab onto it and easily reach the levers on both sides. Now to make it a bit more clear I've already removed the hand card and the mirror if you would like to see how to do that and also how to remove the electronic buttons here. Be sure to check out the link for my previous video in which I explained how to remove those. Um, but moving forward since they've already been loosened I'm only going to loosen the switch part in the you loosen it you will point it upwards like this you'll see that there is a allen key uh, bolt right in the middle here attached to the reservoir and the lever unit actually the whole unit on the handlebar is attached with this or kept in place with this one allen key bolt so I've loosened that, this is a 4mm Allen key bolt and once that has been loosened you'll see the whole unit is able to rotate like this your handle, everything now you do not need to be concerned about the heated grip wires being damaged as the gap in the handlebar makes uh, sufficient space for the adjustment for the wires so they would not be cut off or pinched or anything of the sort so once that is loosened and you want to get the correct angle i'm going to place my hand up there again and adjust this to the correct angle which would be right about there and uh, at that stage if it is at the correct angle which you are happy with you can easily and comfortably reach the levers you can simply tighten that bolt again which i'm going to do now and once that bolt is tightened this should all be nice and sufficiently comfortably in place and i wouldn't need to you can see my wrist, everything's bending in order to reach the levers. And this way, it's much easier to reach and pull the levers on both sides. Um, so I'm only going to tighten the screw now here, reassemble the switches and the mirrors and the hand guard as well, and then proceed and it works exactly the same on the other side with the clutch lever unit. Now, another thing with this adjustment if you adjust it upwards, the hand guard would also be able to be adjusted more to the top because it would not catch the lever at the bottom anymore. So it would offer more resistance from the wind as well. Um, but once again, this is usually per rider preference, but in my case, that would help a lot. And also, once this is in my sufficient space, the, the angle I'm standing here, the reservoirs are also more level. So should I need to open this at any stage to fill up or to refill, this will not spill and I would not need to adjust the angle of the bike. So, if you like this video and you like these tips, um, be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So until next time, thank you very much.